What is going on guys? Welcome back to Starfield. We're continuing where we left off in the last one. We're back over here by the lodge. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got some interesting things to do. I think um, Sarah wants to talk to us. Um, if I remember what we were talking about in the last episode. I don't think you want to talk to us, do you? Let's have a quick chat and see if she does. Ah, uh, hello. Um, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yes, I have some personal questions. Yes, of course. Um, I guess the only question we can ask right now is, I'd like to hear more about House of Varun. I am not surprised you have questions. Um, what is it like being a part of House of Varun? It is not for the faint of heart, I assure you. To know what the future will bring, what will be not just your fate, but that of all those around you. And yet to have no choice but to keep that to yourself. It is a challenge. But as I have told you, it also fills me with purpose. And that purpose is what guides me and drives me. Okay. Uh, can you explain the Great Serpent to me? You might as well just ask me to explain the universe. Here is Probably. what I can tell you. The Great Serpent revealed himself to Jinan Barun decades ago. He explained that it was he who had created this galaxy and breathed life into it. And while he had slumbered after his creation, he would return soon. And when he did, those who had served him in his stead would be rewarded while the rest were cast into shadow. And so for generations, we have prepared for his return. Do you think you'll ever return to your home? That is not for me to decide. If the High Council summons me home, I will go. Until then, I will perform whatever tasks they ask of me. Does it bother you, Does it bother you being away from your people? I am human. Of course it bothers me. But I have a mission. My mission helps preserve the lives and safety of my people. That is more important than my personal feelings. A couple more questions here. How um, do you hear about uh, people finding out? For all that I have seen and experienced, I have never been as afraid as the day Sarah and Vladimir confronted me. But they agreed to keep my secret. And they have held true to their word. That surprised me. But also gave me some amount of comfort. I know that most would not react the same. House Varun is still widely hated in the settled systems. And that sentiment will not change anytime soon. It is after all much of the reason I was sent here in the first place. And the last question we have for you. Um, why does House of Varun send out undercover agents? You know, of course, of our tumultuous history with the people of the Settled Systems. Few have forgiven the Serpent's Crusade. The High Council worries that many would still plot to wipe us out completely. And so we watch. We look for warning signs and we send word back. And it does not help that we are unfortunately still dependent on supplies. Life on the edge of the Settled Systems is difficult and no one will formally trade with us. So agents also help oversee deals with smugglers and the operations needed to transport supplies back home. Okay, cool. Um, that's all we have for now. No, thank you. It is good to be able to discuss this with someone. Good. Um, that's all for now. I enjoy the conversation. So did I. Um, I don't think she has any gear on her. Let me just double check. Did you need me to carry something for you? Oh, no, yeah, she has got stuff on her. So, yeah, I have dumped some, some stuff on her at some point. All right, that's all right. Then. So, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, let's head inside. We're actually going to continue with our main missions. Um, as well, I just want to see how much money we have. How much money do we have currently? Um, we've already almost got 300,000, so I think I'm almost on the edge now of 
probably um, getting ready to start making our first ever ship, probably. Um, well, getting the ship and then upgrading it. Um, I have a good plan in mind. I just need to... I might do it in between episodes and then bring you guys in. Um, I'll probably record it, though. But anyway, let's uh, hit up the main mission. Let's continue where we left quite off. I enjoy New Atlantis, but this... <laughs> this is much better. Looks like everybody's here. Yeah, this is going to be an um, interesting conversation. If you guys have missed the last episode, I would recommend go watching it because um, it's really, really, really interesting. Anyway, let's have a chat with uh, uh, Noel. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Um, I need you to look at the data from my ship's sensors. Um, at any strange ship, a ship's appeared in orbit. Um, let me ask that question. No. Okay. Um, I need you to look at the sensors from my, uh, from my ship. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Okay, cool. Oh, I, I didn't even realize this was a... Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. And with Sam, uh, the sh uh, that ship design could easily be human. Uh, to be honest with you, they sounded fairly human. Um... To Barrett's point, the artifacts clearly aren't human made. And Matteo has merit. Uh, they act like they uh, were judging us. Um, to be honest with you, any of these. Um, to be honest with you, any of these could be good. I'm going to go with Matteo. Um, um, they you act okay? like they were judging us. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent. Worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. Add the artifact to the um, collection. Uh, I think Sarah wants to talk to us quickly, so I'll have a quick chat with Sarah quick. Sorry to pull you aside like this, but I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. Taking those steps to eradicate the Terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Oh, I am. Um, something had to be done. Uh, those creatures were dangerous. Um, I think you're... 
Um, something had to be done about those creatures. They were dangerous. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you treated the situation with the urgency it deserved. I only wish that the United Colonies chose to exterminate the Terramorphs with the experimental microbe instead of choosing this ridiculous Asili solution. Apparently, their decision was based on your recommendation. <sighs> that was a risky choice you've made. Um... I expected you to support my decision and the Achilles solution only minimal risk, yeah. Um I I wanna say the experimental microbe could have been a greater risk. Yeah. I beg to differ with you. Deploying the Asili solution is going to take years. Perhaps even decades. The microbe would have cut that time drastically. Yeah, but you're not looking at it on a bigger picture. What happens if that microbe did um it did something bad? Like, you know, like changed, for instance. Um I couldn't consider the Um why does it matter how long it takes for the Achilles to get rid of terramorphs? You've already seen how much destruction just a few terramorphs can cause. While we wait for the Asilis to naturally prey upon them, we have to spend time and resources defending ourselves. How many human lives will be lost due to the wait? Why should we wall ourselves in when we could simply eradicate them in one fell swoop? The science was at our disposal, and now we've cast that aside. I fear for the future. Um, what do we do with the top one? Well, I'm no, disappointed she that, that but... you didn't trust the science. Unfortunately, locking away the Lazarus plant instead of eliminating it adds to the risk. Anything that accelerates the Terramorph life cycle should have been completely removed from the equation. Why take the chance? Um, even if we don't agree on this matter, I appreciate your honesty. Um, I wish you'd be more supportive of my decision. Um, so, um, I wish you would have been more supportive of my decision. I'm very supportive of your decisions, but that doesn't mean I'm willing to sacrifice my own beliefs in the process. <sighs> Look, I'll tell you what, let's put this past us, shall we? I'm sure everything will work out in the end. I'm sorry if I've said anything that jeopardizes our working relationship. Yeah, she doesn't. She didn't like that hey, decision. Sarah. But you holding up okay? You've yes, I, I, I. To be honest with you, oh, no personally, I, am quite I think we chose the right decision. We're all here for you if you Looking at it from a science point of view, which hey, to be honest with you, that's the type of route I tend really to go well, down. You know. I think that. Yes, I would have supported the science decision, but there was just too many unknowns with it. And plus, it was experimental. You, when something's experimental you like that, you don't know me? if something's going to change. You just don't. I, I know she didn't like that, but... Yes? You should have really been more supportive of the decision. Yes, it's going to take a lot of time. Yes, there's going to be some things in between now and then. But also, we know how the Terramorphs are formed, so... Yeah. Space is so hostile to humanity already, and you made it just a little bit safer for everybody. No matter what you could have done differently, this will impact a lot of lives eventually. We'll have to mark it in the Constellation history books so we don't forget it when the Turamorphs are finally gone. Um...
Uh, I don't care if I'm remembered for that. Um, there's a way, way better thing. Um, um, Oh, really? I haven't noticed anything. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You're amazing. Like chocolate-covered prasada berries on an all-you-can-eat spicy chunks buffet. <laughs> ah, sorry, I'm a little hungry. Balancing risk versus reward is tricky. Even more so when so much hangs in the balance. Yep. So, you really think the Acelis are going to work out, huh? In the long run, yes. Seen some data that I did. Uh, microbes can mutate. You know that you're a scientist. Um, you're a scientist. Um, yeah, the Achilles are awesome, also and also safer. Um, Um, I would say the um, cities are awesome and more safer. They're reliable is I think what you're trying to say. Yep. And yeah, I get where you're coming from. By sealing the Lazarus plant away instead of destroying it, I'm worried we've made things riskier. Um, sealing it away, the Lazarus plant was the wise decision. Uh, we can study it. Yeah, we can. It also, it might have other benefits for us, in, but other things which we're not thinking of. Um, yes, all yes, it did create all advanced terramorphs, but who knows? It might have some better qualities elsewhere. Who knows? Medications, for instance. Um, that's just me thinking with a scientific brain there. <laughs> um. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do with that. Maybe we could study it. Fair. But it will take a long time to get any actionable results. It's like everything. What? No, I paid you back two weeks ago. All right, you got me. I'll scrape something together for you. Next week, maybe. Alright, I guess we'll have a chat with everybody I else. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. Like we've, Take care of yourself. Like we've not really done much with Mateo. Like we did stuff with um, Barrett. We've done stuff with Sarah. We've done stuff with the um, with the help? guy with a lot of money, whatever his name was. Can't remember what he's called now. I don't know. I don't even know where he's gone. Um, yeah, we've not really done anything with um, with him over there yet. I've also done stuff with Sam Coe as well. Anyway, let's um let's complete the artifact here. There we go, got some credits for that. Oh, we haven't done much with this guy either, who's walking hmm? right towards us. Oh sorry. I was just doing some math in my head. Trade the gabs with you. Uh, further into the unknown, uh, let's have a look at our um what we've got on our to-do list. Um, we've, got the, we've got a couple of missions down here. Uh, we've got another one here. We've also got this one up here. So yeah, we've got like four, four main story missions we can go do. Also, we've got a couple of other bits and pieces in here. We've also got this mission we can go do. But that's going to probably send us down an entire rabbit hole. And um, yeah, it's going to be one of those rabbit holes where I'm not going to jump out of it until we've completed it. Just like the whole thing what we just did. Uh, recently, so yeah, it's um, it's it's progressing the main story a little bit, I think. Um, so there's a large anomaly on a planet that matches the signal of one of the artifacts. I need to find it. Uh, I guess we can go do that one. Uh, there's another one there, and uh, there's another one there. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go do some of the anomaly ones. I think this one here, um, he needs to speak to us. But I think what we'll do is we'll head here first. I think. So. 
Um, sure, let's go. Let's track this mission. Let's head on out. Let's see if we can find. Oh, 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 uh, okay, so I take it we've got a couple of people here we need to take out. Uh, some stuff in the missiles. Level 14. actually done this before so I want to do it we make some quick money right now all right let's um stick over this ship guess we can uh, recover it as hey, well need help with uh, yeah yeah I might need your help um boarding this vessel right now. Let's board it. We'll also loot as well as we go. There's some guys here on that side. Okay, it's open. Got the turret. It's bases. Careful not to point that thing at me. The three star collective owes you, stranger. Please acknowledge. Uh, yeah, we'll talk to you in a second. Your comms all right? Acknowledge? Yeah, our comms are fine. Looks like we've got some contraband on here as well, so we'll um. I also want to find uh, the captain's the locker. Over here would like to hear from their new friend. Over. Yeah, don't you worry. I'll I'll be with you in a second. Yeah, we might need to actually go move this contra. Ah, there's captain's locker. Just make sure we're not got any more contraband. Three star vessel here. Respond to hail, please. Don't worry. Just give me a minute. I'm just trying to find some good loot. I'll be with you in a second. Respond. Over. The trauma pack. Just want to give you a proper thanks. Respond. Right, let's go respond to him. Excuse me. Uh, you have commanded a new ship. If you want, uh, if you land on a planet or grav jump to another star system, this ship will become your home ship. Um, any quest or passengers in your okay? Okay, so there we go. We commandeered the vessel. Um. We're not going to undock though, because I think we now have this ship. If not, then it's fine. 
Like what we'll do though. Let's um let's go into our ship again. So that's the docking port down there. Right, let's um reboard our ship. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Never mind. Sorry. All right. Let's get back in my seat. Something else. Uh, yes, Captain. Oh, it's fun. We now got ourselves another free ship, which right, let's um let's undock. Let's um, accept. Spacers are easy targets. I think we had it covered. But I expect some people owe you their lives. Any way we can repay you? Um, I could use some extra repair kits. Um, credits would be nice. Um, I said some extra repair kits uh, would be nice. Uh, I could use some extra repair kit, uh, repair parts. Done. I can't stay here gabbing all day. Fly safe. Thank you. I think that's the ship we just saved, I think. Or is that the one we just... I don't know. I think that is a part of our ships now. Let, let me have a look. Can, can we flip between them? Yeah, I think this is the ship we just ordered. Think. Definitely looks like it. Have a look, shall we? Where's the uh where's that ship gone there? doesn't look like it so yeah I don't think we actually got got the ship um, what we'll do then is we'll uh, we redock Maybe he's not. All right. Figure out what else we can grab then. Um, the mission over there. Right, let's see if we can figure out where all these ship parts are. Okay, so this is this ship here. Could have a couple of a uh, couple of places where we can go grab some repair kits and stuff. Freestyle Collective. Freestyle Collective. I'm trying to find the um, the ships we took out. Right, let's just figure out where we're going. Um, where are we actually going here? Um, I think it was this mission here we were here to do, wasn't it? Here's the planet. Scan it. where we need to be is right here go ahead and land let's go see if we can find it i think we'll do a couple of these today just to uh, i sort of want to get them just like because i know they give us powers and stuff so be interesting No 
breathable atmosphere. A little extra excitement, eh? Yeah, I think so. Um, if I remember rightly, if we face in the right direction, it will tell us. I'm guessing that's it over there. Ship landing over there. Something there behind our ship. And that as well. Alright, let's go, shall we? I think this is the direction we need to go. We'll grab some stuff out of that. It was getting definitely a lot more glitchy. I already find a lot of resources. There we go. And that. Go for that structure there on the map. Definitely seems to be where we need to go. Map updated. Here we've got copper. Drop some frames there for a second. Alright though. A little stuck. What's the gravity like on this planet? Minus 16, the gravity is 0.46. Looks like this is where we need to be. I think floating things is uh, definitely interesting. I just need to find our way in. Where's the door? I remember from the last one we went in. Oh. I was hoping for us to grab on there, but... Alright. Hold on, is that an entrance there? No. Here we are. This is the entrance here. Finally found it. Alright. Go in, shall we? Here we are, we're in this type of room again. We're now floating. If I remember what we did last time, is we had to hit stuff like up over here look find there it is I think it was A to go up B to go down Working towards our weightlifting um, bit as well, which is nice. We're always starting to get more tones.
the hell was that? Is that everything? I think we've got a mission over there now to do. Right, let's have a look at our missions. I think it's just, um, yeah, it's putting the top one on. So I guess what we'll do is we've actually got contraband on us at the minute. I think what we'll do is we'll go move that contraband back to our... Uh, um, back to our like, little base. Or outpost, I should say. And then we'll go from there, I think. I always find that these are really interesting. I think that gives us another um, another skill. Apparently, according to one of my friends, they're actually really, really, really powerful. Um, I've actually... To be honest with you guys, like I don't actually watch many videos on um, Starfield. Um, the only ones I watch is my own. And um, yeah, I'm learning as I go. Sorry, I'm looking down at the ground there too much. Um, I sometimes do that. <laughs> hey, you guys, don't, you guys don't want to don't want to see stuff like this all the time. <laughs> I get it. Neither do I. But yeah, um, moving with these amount of meters as well is good for our weightlifting. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many, um, how much uh, weight we need to lift or what our next challenge is going to be. But yeah, we'll um, we'll head out to the next system as well. We'll go pick up the last two, I think, this episode. Might be a good idea. And then we'll, um, we'll go from there. I know I could have fast traveled, but I, I really just wanted to come back. I'm also trying to get the... Um, the... Uh, the weightlifting thing. There we go. We got it. Carry so much weight. So, in theory, we should now be able to get the next challenge on that. How many skill points have we got? We've got two. So, I think what we'll do is we'll work on the next weightlifting one. So, increase the carry carry, carry capacity by 25%. Wow, I really can't talk today, can I? Right, let's, let's do it. There we go. We have that. So, we now should be able to see what we need to do now to get this one. So, sprint for... Um... So it looks like this one we need to just sprint for 200 and, sorry 2500 meters while carrying 75 percent or more that is perfectly fine we'll get that eventually right um i guess let's um let's get the next mission going shall we so we'll go here next what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of our contraband first i think hello captain go grab our contraband uh, i'll go offload our contraband i should really say I think a good... Oh, didn't mean to hit that one. Guess what we'll do is we'll probably head to the star system we need to. We're in Volley 2. Uh, where we need to go is all the way over there. But where's our base? I think it's in... In here? Yeah, it's here. And then outpost too. It looks like it's on the dark side of the planet at the minute, which is nice again. Right, let's go there. It's probably just going to load us in, but we should be good just to dump our contraband cargo, and then we'll head over to the next planet. Right, we've got outpost two. I am actually going to rename the outpost. So eventually. Right, this is where we keep all of our contraband and cargo. And I need to take it off of me now. So it's not in AIDS. It'll be in probably MISC. Yeah, so we've got whatever this is. It's worth a little bit of money. It's not worth a lot, but it's worth a bit. We'll keep it for now. And we've got this one here, which is not really worth a lot either, but we'll take him. Um, I thought I had a little bit more contraband but I guess I don't because I only ever picked up a few pieces
Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll um, probably offload these anyway. These are peril items while we're here. Uh, so you can stay. Uh, you can stay. You can stay. Right, let's head out now, shall we? Oh, you're coming to join me, are you? Right, I guess what we'll do is we'll probably actually just uh, we'll fast travel there. Just to cut down travel times a bit. Right, where we're heading to? We're heading off over in this general direction. I think we've been here before. I think we have. Right, let's take it. where we're going is over here on this moon around this gas giant. And uh let's uh let's set course, shall we? Here we go. Not gonna take that much for us to get there. <laughs> oh great. These are oh, wow, these are level four. I'm the Mantis. Hail. Can we heal? There we go. We were dead, but uh, those spacers were terrified. I can't believe it. We were saved by the Mantis. Everybody keeps going on about this mantis. Who the hell is the mantis? Um, I'm the ghost story that strikes terror in spaces and crimson fleet alike. Friend is right. Um, I can tell my. Yeah. This has got to be the weirdest day. Oh man, classic Mantis. Well then, thank you, Mantis. Ship's repaired. We'll be heading out. And they jump on out. There we go. Right, let's um head down to the planet now, shall we? Oh well, let's scan it first. So planet get some of us that data and let's uh let's head down go ahead and land Alright, let's um let's get up and let's exit. Let's go find this um Let's go find this uh out of What's on your mind? Uh, obviously all the lights are flashing because we're damaged. Sort of cool actually. I think when it's flashing red it means we're critically low, but um yeah. Okay, so we've got points. 57 gravity on this planet. We've got a temperature of 22. And yeah, 
Doesn't look like um, we've got anything good on this planet either. So, right, let's uh, let's mark up everything we need to find. Figure out where we're going this way. Head this way. I think our anomaly's over here, I think. I'm guessing it's going to be anomaly. This is going to be this one here, I guess. Also, we'll scan stuff as we go. See, like this planet's got animals. What we'll do is we'll just we'll scan all of the deposits of things. Also, scan the animals as we go. I really just want to scan this animal. Oh, plant. Yeah, that one's running away. I don't think we're getting that one. Ah, there's some more here, look. There we go, we've done those. One less thing I have to do if I ever come back to this planet. <laughs> there we go. What does your scanner reveal? Um, a lot of stuff actually. There we go. Another creature there, look. Another oh, plant. This is the anomaly we're looking for, anyway. Argon. Nice. This looks like the anomaly we're looking for, I think. Exactly sure what they're dead, dead people. Take all of this. I don't think we actually went in the right direction, by the way, guys. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll search again here in a minute. I think the one we're going to is that one over there, but. Is not fully scanned yet. Scan them. Alright, I'll just get some high grounds. Ha! Oh, just got a damn mini gun. <laughs> now I'll just, uh, you know, casually, um, you know, look around for whatever else I can find. I've got to say, scanning planets is actually not really too hard, really, when you know what you're looking for. Especially when you know what you're looking for. There we go, we've got that, at least. Almost got everything we need. Yeah, that's what we've looted already. over here got that I only need like one more resource and then that's it I've got them all all right so I guess what we'll do is we'll uh, start heading towards the anomaly I think we've looted everything though but we need to loot oh actually, I actually killed them both nice Take it. Yeah, sometimes her doing that for us is actually a uh, proper clutch. Now we've got 
that. We only need chlorine now. It's not going to be too hard to probably find. Let's see if we can find this anomaly. resources yeah I think I'm overburdened again I think I think we're heading in the right direction now where's our um over there oh, wow there's things in the sky too I only just realized these guys It's weird. We've got like so many of those, right? Let's start heading towards our uh, where we're going here. I guess it's probably going to be this unknown structure right here. Probably where we're going to. Over in this direction. Seems to be where everything's at. Actually, it's right here. There's the chlorine I need to scan. Random beetle we need. There we go. Finally made it. So we can get to the entrance. there with those. Right, now we just need to find the entrance. Here we are. Entrance located. And let's enter. Right, let's do this again. I think we need to talk to her first. Never would I have imagined to encounter something like the Starborn. Now I feel that rather than having answers, we only have more questions. Um, yeah, sorry, we're slowly flying away from each other. <laughs> oh, I think also it shows you what, um, what our skills are on our shoulder there. Um, it is really incredible, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yes. Any meaning of the word. Regardless of how impossible they may have seemed before now, I must say that I do not like being threatened by anyone. Likely you're trying to scare us away from something. Um If so, what would that be? Clearly the Starborn are connected to the artifacts, which would mean that they are also connected to that temple you found. <sighs> make these things? Have they appropriated them? This all implies there is something more, something we do not yet understand. And we need to find out more of the artifacts. They will only lead we have. Uh, you're not worried, are you? I am never worried. Cautious, perhaps. It has always been necessary to prepare for the unexpected. 
This is just a bit more unexpected than usual. Seems to be how things go here in Constellation. Yeah. You're telling me. Oh, there we go. Now we're now behind her. <laughs> Sorry that it keeps on going really blurry. We're slowly floating away from her, so um, we need to find more of these artifacts. Um, they're the only lead we have. You are right. And it would seem that if we do, we may well cross paths with these Starborn again. We will need to be on our guard from now on. They seem to know much about us. Perhaps we can learn more about them to make it even. Whether we learn more or not, I now have a difficult decision to make. I must decide whether to report this to House Baron. I think everyone deserves to know. Uh, you haven't been keeping. Uh, you haven't been keeping things from them. Haven't you been keeping things from them already? My agreement with Sarah was that I would withhold information about the artifacts until we knew more. We certainly do now. But to inform them of this, I must also admit that I have not reported all that I have seen to this point. I think uh, maybe you should wait until we know more. They won't believe the word of it. Um, I do you think Sarah will allow you to tell them? Before it matters what Sarah will allow, I must first decide for myself what is right. Maybe you should wait until we know more. Yes, perhaps that is for the best. I would not wish to send them information now that turns out to be incorrect later. I do appreciate that I can trust you with this. It is good to have someone to talk to. I'll do anything to help you, of course. That's what friends are for. Um, don't worry, you'll get a chance to be there for me sooner than uh, sooner rather than later sooner or later um i'd do anything uh to help you and i appreciate that greatly we should return to our search then there's still so much to do yeah definitely right let's um head up these that one's going to despawn in a second right, sorry about the um the thing there it's uh There's our first one. There's our second one. Third one's over here. Just exploded on us. Oh, getting stuck. I need one more over here. I could have sworn I just flew into that one, but hey ho. All of them? Nope, one more. I think I missed that one. What time is the despawn before I can get to them? Also incredibly hard to see in the starry landscape. There we go. Get up this one. I'm not sure if every time we get one of these it shows more of this or not. Not sure. Yep, 
There we go. Right, I think that's um let's go help the next one now, shall we? Um we'll go continuously getting our weight lifting one. Um We've almost got rank three though, which is nice. I think it's rank three. We've almost getting, I think, or is it rank two? We're working on rank. Th I don't know. Um, what do we need to do for this one though? We need to do. Uh, we need to sprint for a total of two hundred and sorry, two thousand five hundred meters. We've done six hundred and thirty-three. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll, we'll continue. We'll run back to the ship. It'll just be nice to keep them going. Um. I think this is one more we'll do this one more before the end of this episode so we'll hit that one up now and we'll um we'll go from there i think i'm gonna put our pistol away we don't really need it right now we need to reload no yeah, let's put that away head back to the ship right i think i'd scan you see any more we'll uh, grab those as well oh wow it's actually not that far away from our ship either some flying things up there in the sky we can probably scan we can get close enough to them don't know how we can get toxic gas when we're um We're in a space suit. <laughs> sort of just want to collect these guys. If we can. Why can't I scan you? Fine creature. Why can't I scan you? There we go. We scanned it already? I don't know. Right, let's just get back to our um, our ship then, I guess. We got off this god for second planet. Up the next one. Hopefully, on the next planet, we'll get the rest of it. Our ship really needs repairs. Right, let's um, sure. sit in the seat. Let's go where we're going. I think Barrett wants to talk to us as well. And we'll also have a look at the um, the rest of the stuff as well. Right, let's figure out where we're going. Uh, I think I can show where we're going. Ah, it looks like we're going here. Okay. It looks like it's the same star system. Just slightly different place. Alright, let's um scan the planet. There we go. And uh, let's figure out where we're going. So it looks like we're going on the south pole of the planet. Quite literally the south pole of the planet. Let's go ahead and land. And then we'll, we'll quickly talk to Barrett, see what he wants to say, um, and then we'll um, we'll go crack on. I've got to say, the ship's actually coming in clutch with um, a lot of the stuff. I think um, when I build my new ship, but, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. I think. Hopefully, that'll happen sometime. Relatively soon, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so, I think. Yeah, what is it? Hey, talk you to want... me. All right. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? Sure. Um. What do you think about it? He, sometimes when he does like smile, it's a bit creepy. It was awesome. <laughs> um. 
Uh, I want to talk about it too. Right? How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Could be. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. That it could also be. Um. I, I don't know if Bart knows about it or not. I can't really remember. Um. Um. I'm going to say this. That's a smart hypothesis. Makes sense, but we have no observations to really back that up. Yet. Although now that you mention it, I do remember a drunk conversation with a Marine. He swore up and down he was part of an elite crew on some top secret ship out there. But this is all anecdotal. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. Maybe. Um, uh, we know that we wanted the artifacts that has to be significant. Um, we need to let them know we mean no harm. Uh, they didn't seem friendly. I'm sure they'll be happy to do an interview <laughs> next time. Um, we know they want the artifacts. That has to be significant. It's one of our few facts about them. It seemed very important to them, too. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction or some sort of elite military tech or a gazillionaire okay. with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. Oh, yeah, they did. Um... Um, we need to know what their motives are. Um, we need to we need to know what their motives are. Agreed. That is going to require more observations, more encounters with them. Yep. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Maybe. Right, let's head on out. I don't think it's going to be um, anything to do with uh, with uh, what's her face. What's your name again? And Grazia. Right, let's see what we can find on the map, shall we? So uh, yeah, we've got freezing cold temperatures here, which is not good. I don't think I, I don't think I've got good enough space to for this place, but chlorine reminds me of a song. Yep, and we're going to probably get frostbite on this planet. So right, okay, let's just, let's find the anomaly. Let's go. Cause our protection's already worn off. We need to sort of get there, get this done, and then get back to the ship as soon as we can. We need to find. Uh, to be honest with you, I probably need to put some good, um, some good spacesuits together, like one for like cold planets, so at least then we can enter cold planets and stuff. Um, actually, let me just close that off and let me just reopen this. So yeah, it's minus thirty-three. Got zero or two. The gravity is 0.61. We're cold. This is what we're looking for. I think that more or less just showed me where the entrance was, was right here. I think. Maybe. You just come out of nowhere. Hypothermia can dip quickly, and the effects can be 
deadly. We should keep that in mind. Yeah, we should. Why I'm keeping moving. Let the door open up here slowly. It takes a second. Alright, let's enter. We're gonna be the last one for today. There we go. We'll regen in there now. See where these spawn. One's over there. There's like two entrances on this place as well, so. This one's gonna spawn up there. There. I missed that one. I don't know how when I flew right through it. I missed that one too. No, I didn't miss that one. Sometimes I feel like I don't hit these properly, maybe. Yeah, they are on this bomb before we got there. Nah, I'm sure I hit that one, but... I'm not sure if I have to fly into these or not. I can't really remember. Damn it. There's the next one. I've lost it. That's over there. It's going to despawn before we get there. So then go. Um, hello, game. Hit that one perfectly. There we go. Alright, let's fly into this one. See what we get off this one. I'm not really checking out the skills. We'll check them out here in a second, though. Yeah, those symbols around the side are different every time. I I've noticed. Like to see the construction of this place, the tools, the methods. There's so much that could be learned. Yeah, they're telling me. Right, let's head back to the ship, shall we? Before we get frostbite. I think the ship's this way. Yeah, it is. We'll um, we'll run it. Minus 33, also we're not getting any ailments right now. We're not getting too cold or anything. Interesting. Just wait a second. Actually, while we wait a second, let's um let's have a look at our skills than what we've got. They're up here, so yeah, we've got quite a few more. So we've got this one which we use a lot, which is anti-gravity field um we've got this one over here which is personal atmosphere oxygen pure and clean brought forth to breathable deep okay that's interesting and uh, this one here is gravity wave strong enough uh, to be uh, okay uh, what's this one down here then? Uh, this one down here is... Um, okay. Interesting. Hold on. Yeah, zero or two. Uh, where's the ship over there? Alright, I'm going to turn around. Yeah, um, just sprinting as well, just to try and get our thing. But yeah, some of those skills are actually quite good. Like, I really like the anti-gravity one. Uh, it helps when fighting Terramorphs. Um, I know that much. Uh, obviously, the one where you've got, like, your own personal atmosphere, though. That might be cool in some scenarios. 
if we ever need it. I'm not sure when we might need it. Maybe he's in a very, very tough um, situation or something, maybe. Here we are, we're back at the ship anyway. See how far we're off getting the weight lifting one now, shall we? Again. We are... Actually, not that far off. Um, we'll get it soon, but um, not now. Alright, let's board. Right, so, I think what we'll do is we'll end this one here. We'll go figure out what we'll do in between this episode and next. What we'll, what we'll go by. Um, I really want to go do ship, but... I don't think we're around near that yet, but um, I think one thing we are near is probably, um, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we've got this one here. So what we've got here, we need to speak to Vladimir to see his located any more uh, temples. So I guess we could go do that one, um, or we've got this one here. But uh, we're going to unselect that one for now. I think we we'll might go do another mission in here. Um, I'll have a look through everything. We'll probably go from there. But um, yeah, for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and everything so far. If you guys are, please do hit the like button. If not, there's always that dislike button right next to that. Hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Morgan? <laughs>